Welcome to the Maternity Mentor. Today we'll be talking about tocophobia, what it is and how to treat it. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Samantha. I'm a board certified psychiatric nurse practitioner. I have over 13 years nursing experience working in mother baby postpartum, NICU, antepartum, and labor and delivery. I'm also an IBCLC, perinatal mental health certified, and maternal newborn nursing certified. Pregnancy and childbirth can be a great source of joy and happiness for many women, but it can also be a source of stress and anxiety, which can lead to a fear called tocophobia. Let's explore what tocophobia is and how to treat it. Tocophobia is the fear of pregnancy and childbirth. There are two types. The first is primary tocophobia, which occurs when a woman encounters this fear with no previous experience with pregnancy. This fear may start during adolescence, but can also occur after a woman becomes pregnant. Women who have been sexually assaulted or raped also have a higher prevalence of this. Medical examinations may also trigger primary tocophobia. Secondary tocophobia usually occurs after having a traumatic obstetric event, either during the pregnancy or while giving birth. Secondary tocophobia can also occur after failed fertility treatments, terminations of pregnancies, miscarriages, or stillbirths. Women who experience tocophobia will often avoid pregnancy or giving birth altogether. In some cases, women will opt to have a cesarean section delivery versus giving birth vaginally. Other women who may have wanted to have multiple children will choose to have only one instead out of fear. Tocophobia is a type of anxiety disorder involving a specific phobia or fear. The symptoms of tocophobia are very similar to anxiety and panic disorder. These symptoms include sleep disturbances, nightmares, avoidance of pregnancy, irrational thoughts, spending too much time thinking about the fear, anxiety, depression, difficulty sleeping, including having nightmares, difficulty concentrating, extreme fears of birth defects, maternal death or stillbirth, and feelings of dread when thinking about pregnancy and giving birth. Many women will experience panic attacks in addition to these symptoms. There are many factors that can contribute to developing tocophobia. These factors include fear of pain or poor pain management during birth, fear of birth related complications, history of anxiety or depression, history of sexual abuse or rape, lack of social support, living in poverty, becoming pregnant during adolescence, lack of trust in medical providers, fear for the life of the baby, hearing traumatic birth stories from family or friends, hormonal changes making anxiety worse, lack of control or privacy, fear of the unknown, and uncertainty over the labor and delivery process. Before we continue, please remember to hit the like button so you can subscribe and get our latest content to have a happy and healthy family. Now let's talk about the effects of tocophobia. The effects of tocophobia can be profound. Many women will go to great lengths to avoid pregnancy. This can include not only the use of contraception, but also avoiding sex entirely. Women who do become pregnant may opt to have abortions or put the baby up for adoption. For those choosing to keep the baby, many will insist on having a cesarean section delivery. Women who have tocophobia often report all their births as traumatic, and many report difficulties bonding with their babies. Tocophobia can also be experienced by men. Tocophobia in men often manifests as intense fear over the health and safety of both mom and baby. For men, this fear will affect their decision making regarding finances, parental responsibilities, medical treatments, and labor and delivery. Fears over pregnancy as well as labor and delivery are quite normal. Up to 80% of women experience some amount of anxiety related to the process of giving birth, the pain they might experience, and concerns over the unknowns related to having a baby. 
If a woman can cope with these feelings and they do not interfere with her daily life or normal behaviors, this fear may actually be beneficial because it may prompt her to ask more questions and address concerns that she has. If this fear becomes severe or debilitating, then it becomes concerning and it may be diagnosed as tocophobia. Tocophobia is considered a rare condition and research suggests that it occurs in 2 to 15% of pregnancies. However, 20 to 25% of women may experience some of the debilitating symptoms associated with tocophobia. Further research is needed to clearly define the criterion for the diagnosis of tocophobia due to the complexity of anxiety and its normal role during pregnancy and birth. There are two main treatments available for tocophobia. The first is therapy, including cognitive behavioral therapy, exposure therapy, and psychotherapy. The focus of therapy is to identify the causes of anxiety and to work on reframing those thoughts and feelings. Therapy is usually short in duration and can focus on specific symptoms providing quick relief. The other treatment available for tocophobia is medication focused on treating the anxiety. Medications that may be used include selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors or SSRIs, monoamine oxidase inhibitors or MAOIs, beta blockers, and in rare cases, benzodiazepines. The use of medications during pregnancy requires a multidisciplinary approach with psychiatry and obstetrics working closely together. In addition to treatment, there are many coping strategies that may help. Increased support is an effective strategy at reducing anxiety. Talk about your feelings with trusted family members or friends who will be supportive and non-judgmental. Also, join a support group for others struggling with tocophobia to help reinforce that you are not alone. Develop a birth plan early and talk about it with your healthcare provider to make sure they agree with it. While it is very hard to predict everything associated with giving birth, Having a plan in place can reduce your anxiety significantly and can help you feel empowered. Take prenatal classes and go on hospital tours to help answer your questions and make you more familiar with certain parts of the birth experience. Finally, be sure to avoid horror stories related to birth. Tell friends and family to focus on positive aspects only of their birth experiences or avoid the topic altogether to prevent reinforcing your anxiety and fear. Tocophobia can be a debilitating condition for women to deal with. I hope this has explained what tocophobia is and the treatments and coping strategies available to help you manage it. Please share your comments and let us know what topics you would like to hear more about. If you like this content, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can be the first to receive this information. Remember to share this channel with your friends and family and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for additional content we will link those in the description below. Thank you so much for joining us at the Maternity Mentor.